Resident Evil 7 or Biohazard, if you swing that way, is the best modern Resident Evil game. Just flat out, no competition. This one is super good. Uh, when it is. Uh, lots of parts of this game bother me, like, probably more than they should. Uh, for example, the unlocks are boring. Like, what's this one? The walking shoes? Oh, like I, like I can run faster? Dude, that's, that's kind of cool. You run so slow and, oh no. Uh, increases walking speed, but running stays the same. Okay, uh, <laughs> you, you remember in RE4 when in, instead of that alien fucking laser weapon or whatever, the, that boring ass item, don't even put it in the remake, uh, you unlock the jumping pants, yeah, they, they took up a 16th of your inventory and let you hop over fences 10% faster, a truly beloved unlockable, but outside of those admittedly small things that bother me, this game rips, I'm pumped thinking about this one again, so I'm just, I'm just gonna start, man. Damn, I, I forgot how fucking boring the, the, the title screen was the first time you put up the game. You couldn't even give me a fucking logo, man? Jesus. Oh no. <laughs> I can't believe I thought this looked good <laughs> in 2017, dude. I thought this looked really good. This looks so gross. <laughs> fucking back up, man. Shut up, bitch. <laughs> You're a terrorist, <laughs> or whatever the fuck. I don't remember the story of this game. I just remember she is bad, and the game never acknowledges it. <laughs> like they never talk about it in seven or eight. But she is a horrible. That's all I know. Stay away. Okay. <laughs> you stay away from me with your fucking gross looking. Hey, it's uh, it's Ethan. Oh, hey. big, big <laughs> Ethan hours, dude. Yeah. What? Yeah, he sounds good in this game. What the fuck know. did they do to him in Ace? I don't know how. Is it the same She's guy? She's, maybe it's a prank. Maybe it's she a prank. To Throwback to 2017 <laughs> prank videos, dude. <laughs> no fucking way it's the same guy in both games, dude. He sounds so much better in this one. What did they do to him? <laughs> he sounds so bad in 8. I'm not going to talk about 8 very much because I don't like that game. I'll get I'll get mad. All right, the block, dude. I haven't played this game in forever, genuinely. And maybe that's why I still like this one more than the uh, other modern RE's cuz I just didn't play it way too much. Crow jump scare. I just want to get through this intro as fast as possible. I want to play the game. <laughs> Basically, uh, achievement for closing door. Um, <laughs> like, the fucked up part is, like, I've been in houses that look like this. <laughs> so, like, this isn't even, like, affecting me right now. Like, I'm just like, okay, yeah, what's up? This is just, like, that part of town. I live in Shitsville. <laughs> this, this is what every house looks like. <gasps> Piano jump scare. Got how, like, I try hard this game was with, like, jump scares and shit. Clancy Javis, dude, my fucking guy, huh? Should have been the protagonist, I'm just saying. Uh, Middle-aged man jump scare. <laughs> dude, I took a film class, like, this is, this is my shit right here. I can get some good, some, some cinema going, dude. See that wraparound? Yeah, these guys are way more interesting than fucking Ethan and his smelly wife. Like... Invisible wall <laughs> jump scare. This is the first thing they actually fucking scare me. Clancy, you see where Andre went? Yeah, he went this way. He went through the invisible wall. I tried to follow him, I swear. Unfucking believable. I know. I can't believe they'd put a wall there that you couldn't see. I didn't notice that he's actually like hanging a little bit. Like I thought he was, I thought he was just like a placeholder model standing here. Oh, it's the scary face on the YouTube thumbnail. Wow, that was really interesting. Uh Oh, dude, we're this guy Jesus. again? I don't get it, man. You think your wife's dead for three years. I, I feel like, you know, one and a half in, you're gonna be like, damn, I guess I'm never gonna see her again, you know? So then you get an email and it's like, yeah, your wife's actually alive. It's me, your wife. <laughs> you're gonna be like, I don't care anymore, dude. <laughs> you know, I've moved on. Oh, what's this? You're my dead wife in Louisiana? Go live in the South, man. I don't give a shit anymore. I'm over it. A first appearance of the iconic RE Engine bolt cutters. <laughs> Let's go. Hello. Ethan? Are you alright? <laughs> Hello, my dead wife. Are you alright? 
<laughs> You're very calm about this. I can't wait to watch you walk down this hallway and tweak the fuck out for half an hour because this is engaging gameplay. What'd they do to you? Not now. We need to get out of here first. I have no time to explain. I need to stand here and do a fucking jack shit. Too busy creating an impenetrable force field so that you cannot walk around me and get through this intro at a reasonable pace. Leah, are you sure you know where you're going? Yes, it's a fucking straight line, <laughs> Ethan. It's there. Yes, it's here. Open the goddamn door. Go! <laughs> I don't want to play this intro anymore. All right, next thing I have to do is walk up this hallway and then down this hallway back down into the basement in order to progress once more. The thrilling gameplay here, gentlemen. So I have to walk up to this and then the door will start rattling and then I have to go check that door instead. And it's so, so scary. Oh my God. I wonder if my wife will be on these stairs. Holy shit. <laughs> I swear to God, I like this game. I just... Like, what the fuck is that, dude? That looks like shit. <laughs> it gets stabbed through the fucking hand. Wait. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> now hold on a darn second. I deserve this. I don't give a shit. What the fuck are you, Mia? Stupid. <laughs> I'm going to go over here. Except, when I try to walk over you again, it will trigger a cutscene. Sorry, I need to use the first aid med again. But now, when I try and walk over you, another trigger will happen. Alright, you can just punch her. Dude's in the 1930s when the fucking dishes aren't done, dude. And now I hit you with an axe for a nondescript amount of time until you fall on the ground. Like so. Maybe it's like a personal thing, right? I'm not scared of old people, women, or children. So this game doesn't scare me very much. I get that it's like an Evil Dead thing, right? But like, I like the Evil Dead. It isn't this fucking tryhard, dude. <laughs> I don't know. It's really just an, an issue with this intro because the rest of the game does not take itself <laughs> this fucking it, seriously. Capcom, when somebody mentions re-releasing one of their old online PS2 Resident Evil games, Dude, that sucks. I, I don't like that it's like your left hand. I, I want Ethan's perspective on this. Like, it's my hand. <laughs> I want him to freak out a little bit. You were always watching. <laughs> it's your terrorist. Oh. Shoot our kneecaps in. Yeah. <laughs> Get shit on. Pussy. Oh, right, we get to get punched into the fucking next dimension. Does it work if you're backed up against the wall? Yeah, okay. Where did you come from? <laughs> That's a good line, though. I, li I like that line. Uh, Don't you die on us now. You have work to do. I'm off today. <laughs> I like the fucking smartwatch they put on him. <laughs> so fucking desperate to try and find a way to get a health bar to work <laughs> in a super serious game. Oh look, it's the best part of the game. Oh. <laughs> this is the funniest shit I've ever seen. Boom! <laughs> it's like going too fast for me to even fucking comment on it. We got to have his supper. I wish there was more like just group cutscenes. There's not enough of this. Give me the sauce. <laughs> Actual sitcom family, dude. God damn it. I bet it's that cop. I bet it's that cop again. <laughs> Meat. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I really think this game should have been marketed with, like, sitcom, like, shorts. <laughs> like, just, like, shit like that. What fucking pet collar is $20? <laughs> First of all, they don't know how to shop around, get the cheap stuff. What the fuck? Red? Man, they they really are not subtle <laughs> with this game, are they? <laughs> There's a quick turn in this game? I never knew. I never knew there was a quick turn in this game. Hey, hey bro. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, bro. <laughs> what the, why the fuck does it say that? <laughs> hey, bro. <laughs> One thing about this game, it is like the only game past like 
I don't know, makes a horror game feel like gross, <laughs> you know? Like I really like older horror games because like, oh, the textures are low quality and everything's like muddy and fucked up looking. This just does that. It's something with the lighting that's kind of like yellowy, <laughs> like the rotting wood and shit. Like it's so, so good. Hello. Excuse me, I need to get that behind you. <laughs> Dude, I, I know how to quick turn now. I got the tech. You can't, you can't fuck with me now. Like you can't, you can't beat this. Huh? You can, you can quick turn for me. Dude, the quick turn's OP as shit. Like I just, I just escaped that. What the fuck? <laughs> See, dude, yeah, Ethan's way better in this game, dude. He's way better as like a mildly disgruntled, like fucking annoyed <laughs> guy than like actual character <laughs> that they try to do with him with Ace, which does not work whatsoever. Feel like a, what? Hey, bro, feel what it's like. Feel fresh. Here's another complaint I have about this game. You know, while while we're here, um. Why have the blood on the screen and a health bar? Like, just do one or the other. Both is fucking annoying. Is there any way to, like, turn turn that off? No? Okay. Less. Okay, I don't see any fucking difference. <laughs> Why have a health bar if you're gonna have blood on the screen? Why have blood on the screen if you're gonna have a health bar? It doesn't make sense. It does not make sense. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all, I, that's all I'm saying, man. Oh, Jesus. I, I should not have turned up the brightness. What the hell is that? <laughs> what is that noise? Yeah, I don't know where it is. Oh, it's these things. Oh, those fucking annoying things. Right, this is the start of those. Ew. I always hated those things. <laughs> Just anything where it's like, you need to find all of this one little thing. <laughs> you don't know him, but you get the feeling he's an asshole. Dude, that's so true, actually. <laughs> I've, had, I've seen, like, hella people that look identical to this, and they're all fucking... Dicks. <laughs> oh, potentially the worst character in the series? <laughs> Is this your property? No, I'm just covered in blood and no. stitches. <laughs> now we got several calls about some missing persons late. You don't understand. I gotta get out of here. Now we got some reports of some kidnappings and such. You got boarded up windows with barbed wire on it. Your hand is stitched up to yourself. Talking about <laughs> that you gotta get out of here. Now I imagine the first thing I suspect is that you are involved with this. <laughs> yeah. Now Ethan, you, <laughs> you gotta give me your gun. That is like the dumbest shit you could ever say. <laughs> this whole conversation is fucking stupid, dude. I can't help but suspect that an outsider like you may be involved. You need to give me your all your weapon. <laughs> like, what are you talking about, you psycho? Like, dude already suspects you, and he asks for his his main weapon. First of all, I don't know why he suspects you. You know, but whatever. This guy's a fucking idiot, right? We gotta get the fuck out of here. Now, first you need to tell me what you're doing out here alone in the middle of the. <laughs> you need to tell me what you're doing, kidnapped in this house that isn't yours. <laughs> you're not gonna believe me if I told you. Wait, what? You're not gonna believe me if I told you. <laughs> I mean, I guess that's true. He did not believe it when he told him at the window. I, so I guess that's valid. You're about to see someone. Um, <laughs> excuse me, but that was not inside your mouth. And <laughs> do I have your attention? It fails to. I've never seen that before. Is, does that was it always like that? No, that must be like an FOV thing, right? I'm gonna be honest here. First person is my least favorite of the uh, three main like camera styles. <laughs> Maybe it's because both the games that are first person have the clunkiest movement of all time. I don't know. I'm I'm a third person guy first and foremost. Fixed camera. I always I always like a bit of fixed camera. I can't complain about a little bit of fixed camera. But first person, I'm not a fan. Like some may say, oh, it's scarier. No. <laughs> if if you wanted to go the scary route, go fixed camera. It works better. It's more effective. I don't know. I, I just don't like it. Uh, it's not my thing. It, it's a little too slow <laughs> for me, you know? Like, look at this. This is max speed. It's ridiculous. Like, it takes me, like, fucking 30 seconds to get to the end of this hallway. <laughs> like, come on. Then again, the the modern <laughs> third-person games are a little slow and clunky, too, so... Let me get a little positive real quick. I'm tired of complaining about this game that I do like, for the record. <laughs> Aw, fucking kitty, dude. 
the hype I had for this game was fucking unreal, dude. That trailer, one of the best trailers of all time. That's all I'm gonna say. One of the most hype fucking trailers I've ever seen in my life. It was unreal how excited I was for this game. You know, like, that trailer happened and had me jumping out of my seat and shit. Like, I was 13. I pretended to be sick <laughs> to to go buy this game from a Walmart. It was pretty sick. I don't want to. I don't want to do this videotape shit. <laughs> this, this one sucks. First of all, this one. This videotape. You literally just wait for like half an hour for the the hiding sequences to be done. It's stupid. I'd never want to do it again. I'm not doing it. Straight up. Oh fuck. Yeah, that's uh, that's something I straight up hate about this game. Is that um. Healing is bound to a button. But yeah, I was so goddamn excited for this game. And it, it lived up to it. I really enjoyed this game for one playthrough. <laughs> and then it, then the issue of having no replayability came up. No, fuck. Not if I go in here. I'm safe in here. <laughs> Modern RE games and they're very strict. <laughs> the safe room. I miss when we could play around with the safe rooms a little bit, you know? RE3, just fucking being like, well... <laughs> You thought you were safe in the safe room. What are you? Oh, you're hey bro wipes, dude. Nice. <laughs> we love the hey bro branding. Shout out to the texture designers, dude. Now's not the time for that. Heaven forbid I want to progress the game. Don't punch me. <laughs> dude, I didn't know he straight up fucking punched you. That's awesome. Where'd he go? What? That was literally like a... What? Okay, I mean, sure, man, why not? It makes it easier for me, I guess. Who builds this shit? Dude, see, Ethan's funny, he's likable. You know, he's just a guy in this game. There he is, dude. What the there he is. <laughs> the only enemy. And he's gone. I don't mind these guys that much. It's just, uh, I don't know, I just never really cared for the, the goop monster trope in these games. Dude, it's time for the basement. This area scared the piss out of me when I was 13. Like, I had to turn the game off, but then I, I turned it back on like 10 minutes later because I was still super excited to play the game. Yeah, this guy pulls up. He scared the shit out of me the first time, dude. Look, I'm even going in my inventory and just using it like that. What's the issue with that? Why did we need to bind it to a button? I don't understand. <laughs> I, I don't like health being bound to a button when there's limited amounts of it. Because, like, you can mispress that while on full health so easily. Same shit with Silent Hill 4, dude. I'm still mad I used that med kit. Okay, I know what's wrong. The fucking... The aim speed. So slow. Camera acceleration, turn that off. Turn the sensitivity up, dude. There, there's no separate aiming sensitivity. Which sucks because, like, this is way too slow. Um, it's also slower up and down than side to side. Ah, <laughs> no. I'm on max sensitivity right now. This is not what max sensitivity should look like. <laughs> like, that is disgusting. What the fuck? There's, there's separate aiming sensitivity for a while on the mouse, dude. Why isn't there one for controller? What the fuck, Capcom? <laughs> what the hell, dude? I can change the reticle color. Let's make it blue. <laughs> uh, let me get my, let me get some stimulants. <laughs> I don't think I ever used the uh, psycho stimulants <laughs> as a kid. I was like, if it's not permanent, I don't want to use it. Right. I used them once, and it just showed me a bunch of shit I couldn't even access. So, I oh roids. Let's go. Juice up, Ethan. Damn, these things last a while, don't they? Not that I can fucking get to anything that it's trying to show me, but hey. <laughs> I like this game, dude. <laughs> this game feels good. I can kind of see why they made every enemy in RE2 a bullet sponge. Because, uh, needing three bullets to kill an enemy. Not a lot, <laughs> it turns out. Like, it, it's literally faster side to side than up and down. So it's a little disorienting trying to aim. <laughs> a little bit, you know? I'm not really worried about wasting ammo because this game gives you so much. <laughs> you know, like, I sure hope nobody hears me. <laughs> Actual loudest doors ever. And bada boom, and bada boom. And there we go, first area done. Does this game have a timer? No, they didn't start that yet. What the fuck, Ethan? <laughs> Why can't you grab that? Oh, dude, I get to use my coins. Oh, dude, I should have played the demo first. Got one of them bonus coins. Dude, RV living? Kind of goes hard. Is this even an RV? Hold on. No, it's just like a trailer. Okay. Is there a way to get it out? We need the serum. 
the serum. <laughs> so if we get this thing, I can help me and we can get out of here. Right. And so can I. Yeah, we includes you, dumbass. Yeah, in the demo, you can get a, a secret coin, dude. It's awesome. Uh, it never worked for me as a kid. Like, it just, like, wouldn't load correctly. And I, I'm kind of mad about it still. What's this? Three and five? Do I want faster reload or better max health? I'm gonna be honest. I don't really give a shit about the Magnum. Whatever. Let's get that stabilizer. I <laughs> like that, like... Um... Oh, I can check. Seems about the same. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Shout out to being able to run slightly faster while outside. To the, the point where I don't really know why they bothered. <laughs> because it's so subtly fasty. Oh, right, there's backpacks. I hella forgot about the backpacks. Okay. Okay, yeah, okay. I was gonna say, if I had that many inventory slots the entire game, I might have gone actually insane. Low bugs, bug jump scare. <laughs> they want to be the dogs in RE1 so bad. Okay, yeah, that's that's real nice. I kind of like that you have like actual like bug bites on your hands. I never noticed that. That's cool. Like, oh, stimulants. Oh, dude, I got more stimulants. Okay. Here's the thing, why, why don't the walking shoes make you run faster? I get that, I get that they're literally called walking shoes, I get it, I get that, right? But there are literally, there, there is an actual way to go faster. Like, when you go outside of the main houses, Ethan runs a slightly faster. Why not have that be the upgrade, right? Why bother with walking faster, <laughs> right? Hey. Yeah, huh? <laughs> Sorry, I'm ignoring you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Wait, you can just leave? <laughs> Dude, I thought you had to do like a cutscene. Huh? Oh, sorry, my bad. Oh, get these off of me. Oh, okay, you're doing this. All right, all right, chill out, dude. God damn. Oh, Jesus. This is ridiculous, dude. Get the hell out of me. Thank you. Hello, lady. Bye. Joke's on you. There's a safe house over here. And once I'm in here, I am unstoppable. Hey, bro. <laughs> dude, I love that thing. That's my new favorite thing in the game. No. <laughs> they can't hit me during a cutscene. Man, you can manipulate the AI real easy in this game, can't you? Jesus. Oh shit, we get to see the intro. This shit goes hard, dude. Look at this. This is fucking sick. They just, they dissolve a dog or wolf or some shit. Throwback to everybody thinking that was fucking Leon. <laughs> <laughs> when this came out, dude. Maybe that was just me, but it looks like him. And I never bothered to pause it and actually look at what it looks like. So in my mind, that is still Leon Kennedy, dude. Oh, actual title screen. Dude, this game's good. I like this game. <laughs> like, I don't know. I just loaded up and something about the save room just made me hype. Like, I, like, I just, like, looked around a bit and I said, damn. God fucking damn, this is a good game, dude. Like, I don't know what happened just then. Like, a fucking f a switch flipped in my brain where I was like, Dude, I've loved, I love this game. Like, actually, this is like one of my favorite games of all time. I don't know why. This room is insane. It's just... I don't know. It's just like, I just, I loaded into this and I got hype looking around this room. I don't know why. Like, the lighting or something? I, I, dude, I don't know what the fuck just happened to me. Oh, this jump scare got me real good the first time I played it. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> dude, that's a good one. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, I'm not one to compliment jump scares too often. But goddamn. That one hits. Dude, this might be the best part of the game. Like, this, like, house area? Just, like, in terms of, like, atmospherically, gameplay-wise sucks <laughs> but you know just like to to like look around and read shit well I, I really like the basement as well did he find a serum 
I just got done dealing with your mom and her fucking bugs. <laughs> I wish you could have warned me. <laughs> That's a good fucking line. I just choked. I was drinking during this. I, I thought, cutscene, I'm fine. I just got done dealing with your mom and her fucking bugs. <laughs> Dude, I love notes that are from the perspective of the enemies. I love shit like this. Why did they stop? <laughs> Why did they take them out of the remakes is what I want to know. Like, is the RE2, like, greenhouse guy, like, even in the uh, guardhouse? Is the RE2 guardhouse note even in the fucking remake? I don't think it was. And if it was, it wasn't as good. Dude, <laughs> that's so cool. Dude, this game's awesome. The fuck am I talking about, dude? See, like, why can't the running shoes just make you run, like, this speed the entire game? You know, what's with, what's with the slowing down out of nowhere? Does shit spawn here yet? I've never fucking seen this before. What the fuck? I've never thought to come back to the house. I've never seen that door close like that. What is that? I, I wanna go see. I didn't even know you could go back to have this. Whoa. I guess there's not really a point. <laughs> but, I don't know, it's cool. I wish Ethan could, like, inspect his car and be like, Damn, I paid fucking a million dollars for this Evil Dead car. Like, you know, <laughs> I, wish, I, I wish there was more shit you could interact with and he'd, like, say something about it. Like, I don't care if this says garage. What do you think of it? Like, it's a cute sign, I guess, you know? Like, yeah, Ethan's a shitty character, but you could have gave him some, you know? I mean, like, the RE1 characters aren't really anything special either, but they have, like, somewhat unique, like, inspect dialogue instead of just, this is what it is. Right? Like, I can see what it is. I can read that upside down. I just think it'd be cool if Ethan was, like, a bunch of books. I'm not into reading, because I'm a fucking idiot. You know? Like, I wish he would say something. <laughs> right? Do anything to make him somewhat interesting like this. Like, like this. Like, that's cool. That's funny. You know? That gives me, you know, that gives him some character. A little bit. Anyway, I wanted to... Equip the knife. Apparently you can't equip weapons that aren't in your quick select. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> For some reason I thought you wouldn't be there. Well, that's special. My man. Ethan's funny in this game. Maybe it's just because he isn't talking all the time. So I get a break between his kind of so-so delivery. Oh, I could have just went back to the trailer right here. Whoops. I really like the flamethrower in this game, by the way. Like, look at how, like, shitty this is. Like, it sucks. Look at this thing, dude. That's so cool. Because it, it's so stupid looking. It's like a handlebar with a spray can attached. <laughs> that, that's literally what it is, actually. See, this is this is such a cool design. The RE games have never really been scary, but this is fucking cool. <laughs> like, you know? <laughs> I think I whiffed that completely. Uh-huh. <laughs> You are flying. <laughs> I hate to inform you, but what the hell are you doing? How the fuck are you still alive, dude? I remember this fight being, like, tanky, but good lord. <laughs> like, I've been here for, like, ten minutes. Oh, hello. You done? Literal last bullet. Okay. Good, good. Yeah, as I was trying to say... Resident Evil games aren't very scary. They could be. <laughs> they tried a little harder. Like, if every enemy looked like that... Not every enemy. They, they, they had more people who worked on that enemy design. Working on the rest of them? God damn. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. I don't know. Goop monster has never been a particularly compelling enemy. Goop monster or enemy that gets progressively bigger and more goopy as you fight him has never really been scary to me, right? But... I guess just like, Birkin is kind of cool in RE2, but uh, outside of that, and they never really went far with trying to make that scary, it was always like, um, he's just bigger now, right? Like, I don't know. Like, um, the guy in 5, the, the fucking, <laughs> the, the Boston guy, he was probably the next closest thing to being somewhat, you know, like, oh, I wouldn't want that to happen to me, that's a little bit, that's a little bit scary, you know, because he has like this whole, like, I don't know, I don't know, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not an analyst. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just ripping off the dome here. I suck at uh, putting my thoughts into a coherent sentence or, th or um, you know, 
I think I can finish this game today. Actually, no. I keep thinking this game's shorter than it is because uh, I block the, uh, the everything after. <laughs> Pretty much everything, um, including and after the boat, uh, disappears from my mind when I think about this game. Because I don't like any of that stuff. Oh right, speaking of shit I don't like, we're about to meet the main villain of the game, which is, uh, sucks. I don't know, my issue with this game is like, it's never scary when it's like particularly trying to be. Like this is like so like, be scared of the teddy bear in the chair. It's a dark room and there's sounds. Like, it's so fucking tryhard, dude, and it doesn't work at all. When it's shit like the basement, and, like, one of the goop dudes just, like, comes around the corner, and he's just there now. Like, that, that works way better. You know, it's, like, not even trying. It's just, like, yeah, we just put an enemy here. Fight him. That's so much more effective than this, right? Like, it's so tryhard. Like, oh, these fell and made a squeaky noise. Like, I don't, I don't know. It's fucking Outlast vibes, I guess, where it's just like, this is scary because it is. <laughs> like, it's a dark room. Hey, bro. Disinfecting wipes. Now there's gonna be a dark room and a creepy little girl's gonna whisper in your ear. Like, I don't care. Maybe it's just because, like, I don't find kids scary. Every scene with fucking Evelyn is the worst part about this game, dude. I can't fucking stand it. <laughs> All right, we just like pull this out of the joint. And then she's there. Like, I don't, like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Kids aren't scary. Oh, she ran away into the wall and now there's creepy drawings all over the wall. This sucks. <laughs> now there's a guy here. Whoa. <laughs> Chill out, man. I don't know, maybe it's just because it's like, it's a dark room, so you like, 100% expect shit to happen. So like, nothing really surprises you. <laughs> to me, you know, I get that that's like a subjective thing. Evelyn's just a shitty villain. Did you find it? Yeah. After we make it, we can get out of here. Together. Yes sir, the we homie. We love Zoe here. This is a Zoe fan space, dude. Only useful character in the game. Try to save her? Bad ending. Like, fuck off, dude. <laughs> like, I don't want to save Mia. She sucks. And I don't give a fuck about Mia. She's not my wife. I don't know Ethan. He's not a character, so I don't give a fuck what he cares about. And Mia sucks. Every time you see her, she's just a pain in the ass. And then you read about her. She's a terrorist. And it's like, well, I don't want to save her. <laughs> you know? Now we enter the best part of the game for the third time. We only need the head. And you've got it. Oh, this is gonna help me we need the head. Ethan, we need some head before we can get out of here, dude. Now, if you want the head, feel free to come by any time and I'll give it to you. But, oh, we're gonna get some head from this guy. I'm down, Ethan. I know you're excited, but don't worry. It's not going anywhere. Yeah, the head's not going anywhere, dude. <laughs> I'm fucking 12 years old, dude. That's such a fucking shitty joke. But it's so funny. To only me. And I will laugh at it. I really like this character. I'm a, I'm a big Lucas fan. This is a Lucas fan channel. <laughs> oh, right. Here we go. The thing that scared the shit out of me as a kid. Boom. It's so obvious. Like, the game literally pauses before it happens. I just died. Like, <laughs> god damn. I forgot how fast that thing was, man. <laughs> like I said, this is RE7. Everything's slow as shit. The game literally stutters before it happens. Yeah, so I guess technically there's enemy variety, but it's like, is it though? Is it really a variety if they all look the same? Yeah. <laughs> Don't get your sleeves dirty, man. Don't want that drip to get messed up. Shit, you ruined it, dude. Hey, get your head. Hey, what's up, man? I'm not interested in getting head from you. I only want it from the boy upstairs. We're a little quick for my taste, so. Get the fuck away from me, dude. Okay, thanks. Now the enemy spawns in the hallway. Right, it has to. It's like they're in the house now, you're not safe. What? Holy shit. <laughs> Closest thing to scare me yet? All right, one of the one of the DLCs in this room. <laughs> for some reason I forgot that this room was like 
like actually in the game. <laughs> I thought there was like some random room they made up for the DLC. Hey, now we have all the space in the world, Ed. Ethan is carrying two backpacks, one on the front, one on the back, like one of those baby carriers. I'm remembering this game a lot better than I, uh, I thought I would, considering I haven't played it in literally five years. Holy shit, this game's going to be seven years old this year. It passed seven years old this year. Dude, that's how you know this family's actually rich as fuck. Forget how big the house is. They have utensils in every cabinet in the house. Spoons are expensive, man. Like a five pack is like $30. I was freaking out the first time I saw that. You never, you never think spoons are expensive as shit, but I guess you do have them for like 30 years at a time. So I guess it's, you know, warranted. It's a good lore room, you know? I'm never really a fan of lore rooms, but that's a good one. Hey, look, it's the best thing in the game. Yes. Dude, attics are cool. Like, I, I never had one. Like, I'd kill to live up in the, the roof, dude. Oh, dude, I'm stupid. Literally could have got this, like, <laughs> minute one of leaving the house. Yeah, dude, I'm stupid. And there we go. We got a better, we got a better pistol. Could have got that literally hours ago, <laughs> but I'm dumbass. I mean, come on, we got to do happy birthday. I think it's literally required anyway. <laughs> also, shout out to Clancy's one scream they recorded <laughs> where he's just like lightly panicking. <laughs> yeah, that's the best puzzle in the series, <laughs> to be honest. And I, I wish there was more shit like this. I guess you could argue that one part in eight, but eight's kind of kind of duke so i mean does it really matter yeah this puzzle's awesome like it, it, it's like creative you can do like you have to you have to hold the scope up while going through the water like come on dude nothing in the series fucking compares to this <laughs> there's like a doll that says you on it and you gotta burn it and it's like that's foreshadowing i get it and it's so sick dude Show me another puzzle in the series where you pop balloons. <laughs> you know? I don't think it even... Does it even let you do this? No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Clancy doesn't even want to try, man. And there we go, and then we twist the thing, and he writes the thing on the thing, and then we're good. Let's go, dude. Loser. <laughs> Y'all remember that Spongebob episode where he's like... Loser. Loser. <laughs> the fucking, like, kazoo. <laughs> that shit's so funny, dude. I want one of those. Is that real? Probably not. I really wish there was a way to um, give Ethan the loser tat, you know, <laughs> without um, without dying, you know? <laughs> I wish I could walk around the rest of the game with Ethan's arm just saying uh, loser. <laughs> no! That's fucked up, man. I wish they didn't do my man like that. Fuck Ethan. All my homies like Clancy. This is a Clancy fan channel. Oh yeah, take a seat, Ethan. Let's, uh, you know, lean back, fucking watch some TV, man. <laughs> they did such a good job at making this guy fucking disgusting looking, dude. <laughs> Look at this thing. <laughs> like, the model's already being kind of, like, uncanny looking. And then you got this fucking weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is funny as fuck, dude. Yeah, he pulls off his fingernail. Uh, see, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. Nails are, um... Nails are the one thing that really get to me. <laughs> you know? <laughs> that and, like, eyes, maybe? But nails... Uh... I don't like nails. <laughs> ah! You ain't gonna find a goddamn thing. Oh, right. This part's kind of annoying. It has, like, the... Yeah, the bombs. I don't like the bomb. I don't, I don't like the bomb level. They put, like, bombs in boxes, and it's annoying. Because I want to open the boxes and get the, the precious items inside. What? You're joking. I was hella below that, dude. I can't get any lower. It's this one. Yeah. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. <laughs> All right, speaking of lack of replayability, even if you get the code right here, you can't 
actually get the code right here because that would be too that'd be too much fun <laughs> i don't know what the default oh hey <laughs> yeah they made all three family members super good and then they completely fumbled it <laughs> with fucking have blended <laughs> done i don't know how they did it can i shoot the wire no okay that's incredibly dumb you can shoot the wire in five Hello. <laughs> Where the hell does that dude come from? Uh, also, the shotgun fucking rocks, bro. Like, <laughs> this thing is sick. The other one, I've literally barely used in my life. Also, we get some rock music going, dude. We're whipping it. This music's kind of sick. Wait, what the fuck? That's true. That's valid. I like that Ethan doesn't unlatch it, he just tears the thing open. Too easy, dude. They can't stop me. Uh, medium was the hardest difficulty option off rip. So, I've never actually uh, played Madhouse, I don't think. I think I played it for like five minutes, got bored, because the opening of this game is 20 minutes long and unskippable. And uh, I didn't I didn't ever try it again. So I don't, I don't know how good it is or, or whatever, but the unlockables never really seemed worth it anyway. Maybe infinite ammo, but like, for what, right? The game already gives you damn near infinite ammo, so it's like, whatever. 1408, yeah, yeah, if you actually get that right, it doesn't matter. You got it wrong, dumbass. This <laughs> keypad has a delay to how fast you can hit the buttons, and sometimes it just doesn't accept the input. We love to see it. <laughs> we love to see it. 1408, a reference to anything? I don't remember the safe code, still the game, so. Have a nice day. Thank you. And now we get to do it again, but we already know the solution. Kiss my ass. <laughs> Dude, I used to do the happy birthday thing so much that I literally had this, like, the fastest menuing <laughs> of this, like, combination just down, dude. I, I clearly don't remember it anymore, but hey. And, like, the fact that it makes you do it again, but you already, like, have to know the solution from playing the videotape. It's so cool, dude. And then when you're like, all right, I did it, I'm fine this time. You get a little bonus. <laughs> you get a little bonus puzzle. <laughs> like it just drops a fucking like cartoon dynamite from the ceiling. You will never hear me not praise this part of the game. Lucky me. Look. I suggest you. Now that would be telling Ethan. And I don't do spoilers. <laughs> I love that they saved him for the DLC, dude. That's so funny. Like they just don't kill him in the main game. Let's, let's use some of our 60 shotgun shells. Why don't we? Well, I don't know why they give you so much shotgun ammo. <laughs> hey. Dude, learning about the quick turn actually revolutionary. Like, I, uh, 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 nobody ever told me that was in the game. <laughs> 10 shotgun shells. Jesus, I can't even carry the fucking thing. Oh, shit. Do you get a, another inventory upgrade? No, no, wait. That's a, that's a fake fucking pack right there, dude. Hello. Not now. We don't have the time. Only useful character in the game. You have both ingredients. <laughs> just dropped. Uh, wait. I've never pulled up with just neither of them. <laughs> or, like, without one. That's kind of fucking hilarious. <laughs> like, you just come up missing one. What are you doing? <laughs> we didn't want to free her <laughs> before getting the other one. There's enough for two. The fuck? What do you do with them? Bruh, that's like a mop swisher. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Okay. Well, don't, don't give them to me. Fucking take them. Dumbass. Hey, one of those is mine. <laughs> yeah, like, why would you? I don't know. I'm not here to, to argue about the, the story in our e-games. Um, hey, man, I'm trying to loot over here. All right? <laughs> Fucking leave me alone. God damn. That's a cool boss. The one that just lets you fuck around the most, at least, if nothing else. A lot of the other ones are very scripted. And there we go. Hey. Ethan, this way. <laughs> I'm trying to fucking reload here, man. Give me a goddamn second. <laughs> Use the serum on him. The serum thing is fucking stupid, dude. Like, I'm not... I'm not a story critic, especially not a not a especially not a Resident Evil story critic. 
but holy shit, the yeah. syrup and the the syrup, the syrup is stupid, dude. Like it's not even maple. Yeah. Anyway, the the syrup sucks. <laughs> Me when I'm at a restaurant. There's only one left. This whole thing would make a lot more sense if she didn't just say to use it. <laughs> like you can't be fucking distraught about this. You told me to do it, and I'm doing it to you because, God damn it, you're a horrible person. Hey, man, if this ending makes it so eight never happens, I'm more than all right with that. Dick. I'm out of here, dude. So, how you doing? <laughs> Fucking nice day we're having, huh? Say something, I don't know. Long ass boat ride, you're just fucking sitting in silence with me. Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Dude, true and real and based and fucking Ethan Bill, dude. Yeah, fuck Mia, bro. She lies. She's a terrorist, first of all. Like, <laughs> forget the fact she lies. How about you crumble into pieces in front of me for no reason? Huh? How about you do that? Yeah, serves you right. <laughs> Trying to question me. Oh, is that the worst Resident Evil character in the series? Oh my god. I'm so happy we found him. Damn. <laughs> Fucking straight took him. He's really not that bad in this game. He's pretty good in this game. He's really good in this game. But he's so bad in Ace that, uh, you know, I'll, I'll never forgive him. Everybody's bad in Ace. I don't like a single fucking character in Ace. So I can't even really pin it on him, man. Also, we're at the, uh, you know, we're here at the definitive low point of the game. We get to, uh, we get to walk down a boat. And then we get to walk down a boat again, but in the past. And I will not cut out the entirety of it. Right fucking now. Resident Evil theorists be like, this is Wesker because he's wearing sunglasses. I, uh, l listen, I'm sorry. I'm not a video critic either, right? I'm no critic of any sort. I, I will say what I, what I do and do not like. Resident Evil news channels are one of the things I do not like. <laughs> Hello. What the fuck? Was, what the hell happened there? <laughs> the visual bug was scarier than the <laughs> forced jump scare, dude. This is fucking cringe, dude. <laughs> I hate the word cringe, but holy shit. I swear to God, if this game came out, ended 20 minutes ago, that'd be like a top three game in the series. And also the first half hour was cut out. Basically what I want is a three hour long video game. Also, I have some like deep rooted hatred of this entire area. My first ever playthrough, I got straight up soft locked here. Game would just not let me progress, so that that like that miffed me a little bit. All right, that that that, that, that that brought a little hostility into my life. I wasn't ready for. I didn't really want that. You know what I mean? You look really fucking weird, dude. <laughs> also, I learned you could do this, <laughs> so this is fun. <laughs> if only I had the walking shoes to walk slightly faster. Oh, here you go. Yeah. <laughs> All right, whatever. I don't give a fuck. Just put me in the worst part of the entire game real quick. No big deal. Alan. Oh, fucking Alan, bro. Who the fuck is Alan? <laughs> I don't remember this guy. Is that Alan Wake, dude? I can't believe this is happening. I can't believe I agreed to transport a fucking bioweapon. <laughs> Goodness me. I, I, I. Also, this gun might be a contender for the worst gun in the entire fucking series. No bullshit. Stop. I want to shoot this thing. Look at this thing! It doesn't do anything! <laughs> like, Jesus. This, area, this whole area is washed, dude. Open the door. Where the fuck am I? <laughs> that was the worst thing ever. That reminds me of that fucking Layers of Fear. Like, that shit where, like, the baby runs into the wall and fucking... <laughs> Binks his head off the thing. Using this thing kind of makes me want to like rank every gun in the goddamn series. Cause I mean, I just want to put this thing at the bottom of something, dude. Oh, it appears I am out of bullets. The goddamn knife has more hit stun than the thing, dude. Look at that thing, knocked it straight on his ass. No goddamn issue. That's the first time in my entire life I've used a knife on an enemy. This game, I have never ran out of bullets in order to use a knife. Speaking of things I've never used in this game, the remote bombs. I think I used them once. Same thing with six. Weird thing to bring back from six, the remote bomb. Oh, dude. 
the five boat alarm. Dude, this plays throughout the entire last level of five. I love this sound. Oh, hey, fellas. Let me use a remote bomb. Right, I don't think I could figure out how to use the remote bomb. Yeah, how do, how do, you, how do you blow this thing up? It doesn't give you a tutorial. It doesn't give you, like, a pop-up on how to use it. So it's just like, uh, you know, I... Mm -hmm. Like, this game has a tutorial for fucking everything. But not the remote bomb. <laughs> the only thing that isn't the most self-explanatory thing in the entire world. I don't get it. <laughs> but, hey, whatever. Excuse me. Alright, do the most damage I've ever seen in my entire life. Throw down a remote bomb, quickly. <laughs> Use it. Use the bomb. Use it. Thank you. Jesus. What are you doing? Put the goddamn watch away, woman. I swear to God. These goddamn millennials and their smart watches. Yeah, this elevator, uh, it just never opened for me on my first playthrough. Like, it's supposed to give you the option to climb up here. It never did. Straight up, you were locked in the elevator for the rest of the game. <laughs> Who the fuck is this guy? Like, this picture was in the house. I thought it was supposed to be like a young fucking Jack. I guess they just took it from the boat <laughs> or something. I don't know. They make you run through this boat three goddamn times. The initial, like, walking through, watching the flashbacks, they make you do this, and then they make you do it again in the future. <laughs> like... Is it really necessary? Where did you come from? <laughs> what do you know? I was unable to defend myself with the worst goddamn weapon in the entire series when you only give me one health item throughout the entire fucking section. Oh, looking at the watch. I get it. She's fucking in this direction, dude. I understand. You don't gotta show me every three goddamn seconds. Oh, right. This guy, like, calls her a bitch and dies. <laughs> like, bitch. <laughs> Dude, shout out to Alan, bro. Best character in the game? Dude, how didn't, how didn't the, the boat alarm come through in the intro? God damn, the screen's bright. You don't got a fucking blue light filter on this bitch? What the hell's wrong with you? Like, Ethan, I feel like you're the type of guy to just take what you can get, right? And that's like, that's respectable, right? But like, come on, you can do, you can do better. Pre-rendered cutscene time. Hey. <laughs> that was fucking awesome. Pre-rendered cutscene! Yes! <laughs> very, very sudden rise in quality. Out of nowhere. It's so jarring and out of nowhere. I don't know, I don't know why they did that. I don't need you anymore. <laughs> <laughs> That's so fucking... She's so goddamn non-threatening, dude. Alright, boat round three. Because, you know, the first two times I said, hey, I really want more of the boat. That's what I need. Holy shit, you can hear enemies through the walls. I think, is that the only time this game does that? What the fuck? That was the worst jump scare I've ever seen in my life, dude. I was gonna say, like, I remember most of the jump scares in this game. So I, I guess you can say it does them well because they're memorable, at least. That, I... I don't remember that at all, <laughs> and that one sucks. Oh look, Raccoon City mentioned. The survivors of Raccoon City? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe that's Outbreak lore, and I don't know Outbreak, so... <laughs> Dude, I don't remember any of this. I, I think I just blocked out the entire boat level from my memory. It's the worst puzzle I've ever seen. <laughs> just match the fucking colors, <laughs> you know? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> at this point, I could... Go get the gun, right? But like, meh. I have enough remote bombs for the rest of the game anyway. If I can figure out how to use it, I'm gonna look it up. That's what I'm gonna do. People are just saying, throw it on the ground. Like, okay. What now? Is it a mine? I don't, I don't understand. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. <laughs> All right. It's, it's weird that they give you a, a tutorial on how to uh, re do everything else, but... It's also like a mine. Okay. Yeah, they are super goaded, by the way. Okay. It's fucking easiest enemy I've ever faced. Honestly, I think it was about a hundred thousand times easier to just fight the boss like that than to actually go get the gun. <laughs> if I'm being a hundred percent with y'all, I'm only going to get the gun so I can shoot that one bobblehead. And heaven forbid I run out of remote bombs. I don't know why you're playing the scary music. <laughs> Give it up. Grow up. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> you just closed the door. Hey. Qu quit it. Oh, 
There we go. Like, I think... <laughs> oh, God damn. This might be my least favorite weapon. Like, it handles like shit. The reload takes fucking forever. <laughs> it's all over the place. Oh. She gets a backpack? How long is the boat level? I don't remember. Uh, unless it just, like, also gives that to Ethan? I don't know. But, I mean, if, if Ethan gets more inventory space, like, I don't even know what he's gonna do with that. He already has so much. He's waiting. I know. Trust me, I got here as fast as I could. The sooner I'm done with this boat level, the happier I'll all be. Alright? What up? That's crazy. He has more of a face in this game than eight. <laughs> LMAO. Hey. Good cutscene? In my modern Resident Evil game? Dude, it's fucking crazy. I love the main family of this game, dude. Like, look at this guy, dude. No wonder this guy was all over the fucking marketing. And he's not even my favorite family member. <laughs> he's probably my- he's probably at the bottom, and he's like still one of the most entertaining characters in the series. The main family is so fucking good. And then every character outside of that sucks. <laughs> it's unreal. Oh, I can't do that. <laughs> You gotta show up in the DLCs, alright? So I, I can't do that. Hey, then I feel like we can make some sort of effort to, like, headbutt this shit, right? Like, she's tearing it down with her bare goddamn hands. We couldn't get out of this? You serious? Fucking Tylenol. I won't be able to resist for much longer. Dude, stop pushing me around, dude. Wait, do I beat her ass with a crowbar? LMAO. <laughs> 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 that shit's so funny, dude. She <laughs> just starts fucking pun- God damn! Dude, I did not remember that. I'm fucking working on it, man. <laughs> Crumble away. Why, Mia? Why? Who cares? She's already been dead for three years. You can- you can do another 40 to 50. I killed everybody. Hello. Ethan's sole survivor? Kind of big to be on. Actually, well, if you consider eight, I guess not. But I, I, I really like that there's just fish. That's cute. Dude, this, I'm taking this fish with me. Hell yeah, dude. Look at this. Ah. Damn you, <laughs> Capcom and your scripted fucking going under the bar segment. You've taken me as things. Dude, me after the divorce, bro. I think from here to the end of the game, it's just a shooting section. Big fan of horror games that just, like, let you loose for the last, like, hour. You're just like, eh, fuck it. <laughs> you made it this far. Burner fuel? No. This is fast as you can shoot the gun, by the way. Yeah, the enhanced bullets feel really nice. Like, <laughs> if I can hit anything with the... Trash fucking. Uh, the aiming settings are not good for controller. Maybe I should have played this one with keyboard and mouse. I don't know. I do really like the uh, the system of enhanced bullets that you can just like flip out at any time. They're really cool, actually. And I don't know why they didn't bring them back. Yeah, because enhanced bullets were a thing in the original three, and then they didn't bring them back until this game. So I can't even give it credit for this game. <laughs> Hold on, let me let me try this game on keyboard and mouse for a second. Let me see how this feels. Just for a second. I don't know any of the controls. All right, control is apparently heal because that makes no sense at all. Also, wow, the movement does not feel good. Holy shit. <laughs> the aiming feels a lot better though. <laughs> oh my God, this feels awesome. But like the, hold on, is there a way to change just like looking around speed? Right, there is. But uh, heaven forbid that they have the same thing for controller. They have camera acceleration, also known as the worst thing to ever be put into shooter games. I don't know. Whatever. You know what? Fuck it. We're playing the rest of this game K- We're playing the rest of this game K-Bam. Because it's more fun. Holy shit. I love this. I'm not going to be able to get over this. That's going to blow up. Guaranteed, dude. Yeah, that's- that's what I was thinking of for the last hour. Hey, bro? Dude, I haven't seen a hey, bro in like six hours, dude. I'm fiending. I need more laundry. I don't know, it's weird. Like, <laughs> I almost wish I could play with my controller in my left hand. Can I do that? Hold on. No, dude, I can't do that. <laughs> I wanted to move around with the analog stick and I wanted to, whatever. <laughs> that would have been crazy. What the fuck was that? 
<laughs> like, I have almost a hundred shotgun shells. Like, it's a little ridiculous, man. But this shotgun's really fun, so I don't care. Is that it? <laughs> Was that the last enemy in the game? Whatever, I want to fight more, y'all. RE Engine guns feel really good. It's just a shame they have the whole sway, like, between shots. You know, like if they were just like, a, if there was like a, a precision mode where like after you beat the game, you can enter a cheat code that just makes the, the shots always have the dot instead of the, it would feel so fucking good, dude. Hello, it's the part of the game I don't like very much. It's gone. It's gone. <laughs> Wait, I can do that? Oh, dude, Ethan face. It's crazy how they, they have his face just right fucking there. And then you play 8 and it's the most obnoxious trying to hide its shit in the entire world. Like, just just show his fucking face, dude. It's so annoying. <laughs> I can shoot at anything. I, I, still, have, I still have 60 bullets. <laughs> like, it doesn't even... <laughs> dude. Holy shit, that's the funniest thing I've ever seen. This shit's so stupid. Look at the fucking buck teeth on this thing, dude. <laughs> no. <laughs> this shit sucks. That's <laughs> your fucking shitty villain. You're boring. <laughs> and you don't even have the virtue of being a cool design. You're a goddamn child for 70% of the game. And now you're a wall. <laughs> Literally a wall for the final boss. Whatever, it did. You stole this from RE6. Six did the wall boss fight better. Don't lie. RE6 haters be like... Uh, seven. Seven final boss. Good. I'm using my enhanced handgun bullets, despite the fact that this is an entirely <laughs> fucking <laughs> scripted sequence. <laughs> but I, I, you know, if I, if I pray hard enough, I can make it go faster. <laughs> did we hear the Ethan death scream in this game, dude? Wait. Hold on. I gotta go back and die. Because <laughs> his death scream is the funniest thing I've ever heard. Shut up, bitch. Oh, there's the Ethan death scream. <laughs> Almost as good as RE4 death scream, Dave. Almost. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Hey guys, do you get it? It's named the Albert 01, and it looks like the gun Wesker uses. Do you guys get it yet? <laughs> it's a reference. And that means it's good. <laughs> I don't know why it takes exactly one less than all the bullets you need. I also don't know why it says stars on the pistol. <laughs> like, unless they literally just took his gun and was like, eh, we'll keep it around, you know? Why, I'm fucking, why not? Well, I know why it says stars on it, because it's like the old games. Do you guys... Oh, I got three achievements at the same time. Get ending two. <laughs> it's not even good ending, bad ending, it's ending one and two. <laughs> oh shit, we're gonna see... We're gonna see the worst design change in the entire series. Oh no. No, 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 no. <laughs> he looks gross. Still watching this nasty ass video, Ethan? What fuck are you doing? Throw that at the window. Right, is he actually gonna do it? There you go. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Hard cut to helicopter. They say when one door closes, <laughs> another opens. How do I remember that? There's no way I remember that. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Shut the fuck up, Ethan. I don't like it when you say more than a sentence at a time. That being said, he sounds good here. Like, I, I don't know what they did to him in 8. One of, the, one of the voice directors, I don't know. One of them needs to be gone. Between Ethan and 8. And 8 is voice in 4 remake. <laughs> Unironically. Theme song? No. Title card. <laughs> That's cool, I like that. I like that title card. I like this post-title card sequence. I don't remember this. <laughs> what, what is this? Is this not a hero TZ? Oh no. We got the theme song. I was right. There is theme song. This credits goes fucking hard, by the way. This is one of the coolest credit screens I've ever seen in my entire goddamn life. I love this. And they got the banger playing in the background. Like, look at that. Like, that's so funny. Spaghetti. <laughs> Spaghetti jump scare. What the? <laughs> it's just like taking fucking pollution footage. They got him on the pill, bro. <laughs> and now we get the boring credits. Boo. Dude, all this, like, 
this is all like text. <laughs> this is all stuff. Like they just have lore in here. <laughs> like, I, don't, I can't read this quick. Slow down! Uh, normal playtime, just under five hours. Yeah, this game's really short. No wonder they don't let you skip anything. <laughs> Holy shit. I did not open the item box 77 goddamn times, dude. That's just a lie. And that's it. Uh, time to tier list it, I guess. Where do I want to put seven, right? Seven's a hard one, because these first six, I could play on repeat 10, 20 times, and I have for a lot of them. And then there's seven, which I want to play once every five years. <laughs> and any more than that, I'd, I'd like get sick and fucking throw up on the ground, right? Like, but when I do play it, I really enjoy myself. So it's hard to say. <laughs> Replayability is very, very important to me, especially with Resident Evil games. That's why I, that's why I really don't like to remake all too much. I, I, I just don't find it very replayable. I, I played it like three times, I think, when it came out and just never had any desire to go back to it. I barely even played the DLCs for two remake. Here's my thing, right? If you could skip the intro, skip the cutscenes, I would want to play it more, right? But even then, eh, you know, your running speed's super slow. There's really not, a, it's very short. Like even for these games, it's very short, <laughs> right? I did it in under five hours taking my time. Like, I was going back and forth looking through everything under five hours. So I can see why they don't let you skip cutscenes or the intro or outro. <laughs> it's because it'd be fucking two hours long otherwise. And, like, it doesn't feel short. It feels lengthy, right? But it, it isn't. And, like, that's not a negative by any means. I love short games. Give me a good three-hour game. I'm sorted. But it's such a slog. <laughs> Like, it's so bizarre, because it's so short, but it feels so lengthy. It's because, it, it's like the uh, most scripted Resident Evil game. It is very scripted. Like, it, it wants to show you something, and it wants you to see every goddamn thing it wants to show you. Like, it will drag you, <laughs> fucking kicking and screaming, to be like, you have to look at this, and this, in this order. But like, the middle section, where you're actually playing the game, and it, it's letting you, it's letting you move, dude. It's letting you just chill. Then it's really good. You know, some people call it the, the scariest Resident Evil game. I guess. <laughs> I, I don't really know if the rest are trying to be scary. <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't really know if that's a, a priority for a lot of the earlier ones. And I don't think it really should be. Like, yeah, I know. First game opens up being like, welcome to the survival horror. But there's a reason why survival comes first in that, in that, um, fucking combo. Survival game first, horror game second. Or, like, third, fourth, or fifth, in my opinion. Right? <laughs> my order is survival game first, right? Exploration game second. Action, puzzle, horror. That's just the order of priorities that I like to see in Resident Evil games, right? Basically three, four, and five. Do I want to put two in S tier? I don't know. I'm really only ranking it off half the game, because I've never played B scenario. Which will be the first thing I do <laughs> after eight. Back to seven. These these things are always like a shotgun blast of opinions. I, I never really, you know, I don't script this. <laughs> you know, this is just like me thinking of things I like about video game. One after another, just boom, 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 right? What do, what do, where do I want to put this? If I put six above this, people would be fucking pissed. <laughs> I'll put it above six. Because I, I, don't, I don't think I ever want to touch 6 again in my life. I really like 6. I never want to touch it again. I like 5 a lot more than 7. Hear me out. I don't, I don't know if that's just because I haven't played 1 in like, what, a year? How long have I been doing this? And like, I just forget about it. But like, I don't think it was that great. I also never played Chris's campaign. So, same issues. Sorry, too. <laughs> I don't think I want to play Chris's campaign, though, to be honest. It doesn't seem all that interesting to me. You just have less slots. It just sounds annoying. I don't really know if I care for that. We're a little to we're a little too top heavy. Let's knock two down. Yeah, that looks nice. I don't like being too top heavy, but I'm really positive towards the the first few games. <laughs> if you want to see something ranked low, <laughs> check in next time because I fucking hate village. <laughs> anyway, yeah, seven's good. Seven's great. I I'd say seven's great. It's my fifth favorite. Is it? Do I like anything in here more than seven after this? Do I hate this franchise? Maybe. I don't think anything's gonna beat out seven for a while. I haven't played any of these. <laughs> I 
I haven't played anything up until fucking Rev 1. I just missed all of these. Do I put 5 and 7 on the same tier? I don't think so. If I put 7 in A tier, I'd need to make a higher tier for these two and put 5 up into S. <laughs> it's what I'd need to do because 7 and 5 are not on the same level to me. 7's a B tier. 7's a B tier. You know what? I'll say it. I'm not big on modern RE. Like, I don't hate it or anything, but I don't think it competes. I can't put 7 in A. It's too hostile to replayability. There's not really a reason to replay 7. Outside of just being like, I want to be here for the vibes, right? Uh, anyway. That's Resident Evil 7. The best modern Resident Evil game. Yeah. Totally. Maybe this one, but... It's still... Eh. Fuck it. We're putting 7 in A. I don't care. <laughs> well, now we're too A heavy. <laughs> Whatever. Seven's a bottom of A. That makes you happy. Also, <clears throat> the cutscenes look better in six. <clears throat> That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Whatever. I'm done. I'm out of here.